George's Urbane. George's Urbane, 12 April 1872, 5 November 1938 in Paris, was a French chemist, a professor of the Sorbonne, a member of the Institut de France, and director of the Institute of Chemistry in Paris. Much of his work focused on the rare earths, isolating and separating elements such as europium and gadolinium, and studying their spectra, their magnetic properties, and their atomic masses. He discovered the element lutetium, atomic number 71. He also studied the efflorescence of saline hydrates. Education After attending the Lycée Charlemagne and Lycée Lavoisier, Urbain studied at the École Supérieure de Physique et de Chimie Industrielles de la Ville de Paris Est I Paris Tech. He graduated as the top student in the school's ninth graduating class in 1894. At that time, he also earned his license E's Physique et Chimie at the Sorbonne. Urbain served in teaching positions at the Preparator at the École de Physique et Chimie Industrielle 1894 minus 1895 in Charles Friedel's Organic Chemistry Laboratory 1832 minus 1899 in the Faculté des Sciences PCN 1895 minus 1000. He completed a thesis on Richerch's Sur la Separation des Terres Rares research into the separation of rare earth elements in 1899. Career, R. Urbain led the laboratories of the Compagnie Générale d'Electrocyte from 1899. Among the topics he studied was the use of rare earth oxides to manufacture arc lamps. Next, he became a teacher at the École de Physique et Chimie 1905 minus 1906 and the Sorbonne 1906-1908. In 1907, Urbain joined the Commission Internationale des Poids Atomiques. During World War I, Urbain served in the Ministry of War as a laboratory director and technical advisor for artillery and explosives. Following the war, he taught at the École Centrale des Arts et Manufactures. In 1928, he accepted the Chair of General Chemistry at the Sorbonne, in addition to serving as Director of Chemistry at the Institute of Biology. Urbain was also appointed Head of the Chemistry Section of the Palais de la Découverte, Director of the Chemical Treatment Laboratory of Thaïs, and President of the École Pratique des Hautitudes Second Section. Elements Urbain developed new and more efficient techniques for the separation of rare earths. By taking advantage of the weights of rare earths, he was able to design procedures to separate light from heavy fractions using magnesium and bismuth nitrates. This enabled him to test and refute a number of inaccurate rare earth discoveries claimed by other scientists. Urbain discovered the element lutetium, atomic number 71 independently, in 1907, when he demonstrated that Jean Charles Gallissard de Marignac's Iterbia contained two substances. Through spectral analysis of both, he was able to characterize them and prove that they were distinct elements. 701. Urbain called his two components neo Iterbia and Lutetia. These components of Iterbia were independently isolated around the same time. Urbain and Welsbach accused each other of publishing results based on the other party. The dispute was officially settled in 1909 by the Commission on Atomic Mass, which granted priority to Urbain as the first to describe the separation of lutetium from iterbium. Urbain's lutetia was adapted to lutetium. Urbain's name neo-iterbium was temporarily adopted, but later Marignac's name was restored to the element iterbium. In 1911 Urbain isolated another new element, which he called keltium, but his studies were interrupted by World War I. In 1922, he announced his new element, fully characterizing its emission spectrum, but mistakenly identifying it as a rare earth. George de Hevesy and Dirk Koster also characterized it, placing it more accurately, and called it hafnium. A decades-long controversy over credit and naming was eventually decided in favor of hafnium. Although Urbain was right in detecting the presence of a new element, the spectra and the chemical behavior he described were not a good match to the element later isolated. In part, the controversy resulted from the different techniques used by chemists like Urbain, who favored chemical reduction techniques, 
and physicists who increasingly relied on new X-ray spectroscopy methods. As of 1919, Urbane had completed an extensive study of phosphorescence spectra and demonstrated, by introducing impurities into artificially prepared mixtures, he was able to duplicate the results reported by other researchers, again testing claims about possible new elements. Urbane was also a composer and sculptor. Additional sources Ram, G. Jacques, J. 1997, Georges Urbane, 1872, 1938 at El Unification des Theories Chimiques, Comtesse Rendis de l'Académie des Sciences, Soraya Abbey, 325 1, 2731, by Pode, 1997, Crasp, 325, 27b, Doi, 10.1016 slash as well 51 minus 8,069, 97, 83,000, 260 minus 5, 